The workshop is very educative, and then a lot, I learned a lot from the workshop, especially taking care of the children and how we can also uh, assist uh, the children in our schools, especially children at a basic level. In fact, a lot has been learned, especially uh, the rise of the child and then how parents should also support the children in schools. As teachers, I think uh, we have to do a lot, especially children who are not, whose parents are not uh, able to take care of them in school. So we as teachers, if these children are identified, we we'll make sure we we'll have to visit them in their homes and then encourage their parents to support them. My name is Ibrahim Fusini. Okay. Teacher. A teacher at RC Primary. Uh, uh, the workshop has benefited us a lot uh, as teachers. Me, for instance, I'm a head teacher. It has benefited us a lot because he has uh, sent us through a, a lot of areas like educational counselor. We need to, he, he talked that we need to, in our school, instill confidence in the children. And we organize educational counselor where we let our children know much about what they are about. Some of the children are in the school because you only ask them, People only ask them to come to the school, but we need to give the children educational counsel from where they are, where are they to move about, what will they be future. All these have been, uh, are things that we have not been doing in our school. The children only know that they have brought him to school, but he doesn't know the benefit of what is in the school. And when this educational counsel is given to these children, it will benefit them a lot. Yeah. They need to uh, encourage children to come to school. They need to show love to them at home, which we have been taught. Children, uh, as parents, we need to show love to the children. Without love from the home, the child coming to school has, set, has got a certain effect on him. So for people outside, they need to encourage children to come to school, show them love. Let them know that they are in love, and as they are in the school, they are in the safe hands. That's what I... Who have a lower IQ, uh, we have been taught uh, children need to develop mentally. And children developing mentally in our home, we have to give them good nutrition. Good nutrition, they send that uh, in the form of a balanced diet so that to develop the child uh, IQ, mm -hmm. this is very important. Mm -hmm. the, at the environmental level, that is at the child, uh, home level, is very important. How you take care, care of a child, where he even sleep. If you also take eggs, it's how you also to take a meat. These things are things that we have been taught here that at our home, children need to take a very good balanced diet. And when it comes to school, it also helps because it will develop the child mentally. So that when the teacher to teach. We shop a lot because uh, they've taken us through uh, the uh, urban and uh, what like a rural and an urban child. They take through us through the physical, psychological, and social development of the child. And all these are very important since we, for me, for instance, uh, I'm from Cogne. It's an, uh, a rural area, and we have been taken through the difference between the urban child and the rural child. And the very, the very important area that we need to note as teachers who teach in the rural areas. These are some of the things sometimes we don't take note. And uh, the workshop has sent us through, and we have also been taught about uh, uh, child labor. Uh, in our various uh, communities, uh, child labor is very rampant. And through the workshop, they've, shown, they've taught us that uh, child labor 
uh, is something very detrimental to education and uh, we should educate our community and that is very good uh, for us and we hope to do that and uh, we're also giving some uh, educational material we have given uh, teaching and learning material and some sporting uh, uh, material to send it back to the school to support uh, the children. Some of the materials are uh, chalks, pencil, books, uh, rule, ruler for the teacher, and uh, some materials uh, like football, etc., which are very good to support uh, uh, us at our various school. So like the way forward is encourage it. We need to get uh, teachers who are trained in uh, that area to be uh, posted to the school to handle that. Yeah. So uh, we, we realize that there is a gap between girls and boys in terms of education. So the way is to uh, bridge that gap between boys and girls. So how to do is to encourage sensitization of our people. Also, uh, also again, not just uh, taking them to school, but also try to keep them at school. What the teacher needs to do to keep the children at school, what the parents also need to keep the children at school. So, your aim is to encourage um, girls' education and also that of uh, women to keep their ch uh, girl children in school. Okay. So, what have you learned? I have learned that as a teacher, I need to look, go out there, look out for girls who are not in school, and encourage them to be in school. Go ahead. Yeah, to be in school, and also encourage them to be a wife, to stay in school, not to drop out of school.